Okay, Greg Westfall with NeuroCare, and I'm here with Troy. Troy, you're an exercise physiologist and a health coach, and uh, so you're pre in pretty good shape. Uh, you're an Ironman competitor, you're nationally ranked in, yeah. in uh, those kind of triathlon yeah. uh, exercise. Now, you got some serious guns here. Uh, you can, we hooked up your tricep here, and of course, the, the opposing muscle group is the bicep. Correct. Okay. So the agonists, we're gonna stimulate to make your arm straight. Okay. Every time this light comes on, we're gonna cause the arm to straighten. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm gonna start you very low so you can feel a little tingling. Can you feel any tingling yet? Right there. In the arm. Feels like when your foot falls asleep, you get a little, uh, almost uh, like vibration. What, what you're gonna experience is so much power that you won't be able to bend your arm eventually. Okay. okay. Listen, uh, can you curl what? 160 pounds? But what do you think? Oh, about that, yeah. About 160 or more. Okay. So the thing is, this pound, this only weighs two pounds, but you're not going to be able to curl it. But it's not the machine you're curling. You're going to be competing against your own mm -hmm. muscles. So this is, this is really symbolic of our challenges in life. We usually end up competing against ourselves. Mm -hmm. So every time you feel the pulse, I want you to curl your arm like we're adding weight. So I'm slowly turning this up. Can you feel that? Yep. Okay, so as I slowly turn it up, it's like I'm adding 10 or 20 pounds with each pulse here. And the machine is firing your triceps. Okay. This is the world's only true Tesla. High voltage is what causes contraction. But it's at low amperage, less than 4 the maximum is 4.4 milliamps, a very tiny amount of milliampage. So it doesn't burn, can't injure you, yet I can give you so much juice, you can't bend your arm. But yet, it, it's not burning you, right? Right. It doesn't, uh, it, it's not making you feel like you're being electrocuted. Okay. No, I still get the, the pins and needles, but it's not painful? It's not painful, okay. Yet, look how powerful this is. Yeah. Look at that. Now that, my friend, is full resistance <laughs> exercise, is it not? Yes, it is. Have you ever experienced anything <laughs> like this? No, not outside the gym, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, we're about halfway up. I turned it down here, okay? I could keep going, right. as you well know, and there'd be more. Now, in the gym, often, you find people, especially athletes, who overuse, maybe throw with just one arm. They've got a muscle strength imbalance. Yep. They're golfing from one side. We see this in the dentists who lean over the table for 20 years. They develop muscle strength imbalances, like the industrial athlete, the carpenter who's hammering with one arm for 30 years. Okay, Or, crazy enough, a guy like me who talks on the phone for 30 years and takes notes with one arm. My daughter-in-law held her babies with her right arm while she did her housework with her right arm, and held her babies in the left arm, excuse me, and did her housework with the right arm, and developed muscle strength and balance. She thought, well, that's where I store all my stress. It's right in here. Mm -hmm. No. Same thing, I had all my muscle spasms in here. These were in spasm because they were stronger. This side was weaker, because by holding my hand up to my ear like this, these muscles tighten. Can you feel how they tighten when you do that? Mm -hmm. i would given myself, just like a violinist, you know, a muscle strength and balance like the guitar players, and I do play guitar. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing the things we do in our life that cause imbalances yeah. in muscle strength. Now, Troy, I've recorded this. I want a full release from you to, to use this video. No problem. And uh, would you sign a release for us? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Have you ever experienced anything like this, what we just did for your arms? You know, I can say the, the, um, in the backs of the, the uh, trade magazines, the triathlon mm -hmm. magazines, and at the expos, they're selling... Uh, small machines, but they don't reach well, the they're DC. Of those Let me explain the difference. This is very important. I'm glad you brought that up. There have been 1,200 manufacturers of electro stim machines over the years. The reason we say this is the world's only true Tesla high voltage, low amperage AC output system is all those other systems use DC, which the inventors of electro stim have noted can irritate at the skin level. There are 125 volts at 90 milliamps. I can fry an egg at 60 milliamps. My microwave uses 60 milliamps, okay? Wow. You can actually burn if you go above 10 milliamps at 30 volts is where most people max out on those devices mm -hmm. because it causes discomfort and can actually cause wounds. Uh, we have pictures of blisters caused mm -hmm. to patients when they try to go uh, more juice. The one commonality of what uh, the efficacy of making the device work is muscle contractions. 
okay? It's not frequency or waveform and all this other voodoo marketing hype. When you get massive muscle contractions, we can actually increase the girth of the thighs for stroke patients by 10 inches over an eight week course of therapy. I don't know of any other device that can do that. The DC output systems, uh, to get the, the high voltage, which is what causes the contractions, they raise the amperage up, and once you go above 10 milliamps, it becomes very uncomfortable, so you can't take it for long periods. I could do the same thing I just did right now with a DC output system. Mm -hmm. The problem is, let's say that you were an elderly patient that had a stroke. You couldn't take it for more than a few minutes. Mm -hmm. You'd have to you say, take this, I can't take it. Mm -hmm. What we need is better compliance and tolerance among patients to tolerate full resistance exercise for extended periods of time. Compliance is excellent. And, right. and, the, and the compliance and tolerance increases when you have lower amperage. Mm -hmm. There's a direct inverse relationship there, okay? So the problem with the DC output systems is that people can't take it for very long. Their tolerance goes away after a few minutes and they say, take this thing off me. It's it. I was at a chiropractor's office and we hooked up uh, this guy could do 100 push-ups at a time. Mm -hmm. Hooked up this arm and he was doing the same thing. Wow, this is amazing. She said, well, that's nothing I can do. She grabbed her little DC cheap seats output system hooked up the other arm and made his arm go straight but he started screaming take it off take it off I can't take it right. okay and when we're dealing with muscle strength imbalances when we're dealing with uh, diabetic and circulatory neuropathy when we're dealing with uh, edema fluid buildup chronic fluid from an old 30-year auto accident etc mm -hmm. you have to have longer treatments more frequently and the reason we get the magic, the reason we're saving limbs from amputation when others cannot, is because the patients can tolerate longer treatments more frequently. You didn't feel like you were being burned. You didn't feel like you were being electrocuted. Right. It's more like a vibration massage. Mm -hmm. kind of. uh, and because of that, we can give you long-term, uh, very deep muscle contractions.